Hey everybody, welcome back to Doherty's Destination Diaries, and welcome to what I'm pretty sure is the last episode of Doherty's Destination Diaries, at least for now. So we left Memphis and we're headed for Nashville. Um, finally, we had an uneventful drive. Nothing major happened, nothing scary, nothing where it caused almost death. Uh, it was just a normal drive. It was chill for a few hours and then we were in Nashville, so that was pretty exciting. Our very first night in Nashville we were really excited about because that's when we had tickets to go to the Grand Ole Opry. Um, if you're not familiar with the Grand Ole Opry and what they do, it is an unbelievable show. Uh, the Grand Ole Opry is the home of country music and they put on this great show a few times a week where they bring in eight different acts from the country music world and they're all drawn from up-and-comers that are amazingly good and superstars of the country world and Nashville legends. So you basically always know you're going to get a great show. And the eight acts get 15 minutes each, and that's it. And they make the same like union scale wage as everybody else. So it doesn't matter if you're the biggest star in the world. You get paid the same amount, and you get your 15 minutes to get on stage and sing and get out of there. It's an incredible show. Uh, the cast when we were there was unbelievably cool. Uh, a handful of old Nashville legends and and by old I'm not kidding that there there were some older people there and they were great just fantastic performers the up-and-comers were awesome and the headliner that night was Carrie Underwood Aiden and I felt it absolutely necessary to dress up for this occasion and find another excuse to wear our cowboy boots and hat all right we're at the Grand Ole Opry the show's about to start Aiden are we excited we're excited. I can't wait. It's gonna be so much fun. Check this out. This place is so cool. Yeah. 
all put on a great show. It was an amazing time. Day, day two of the Nashville stop included shopping at the Opry Mills Mall, which is a really cool big mall uh, right near the Grand Ole Opry. And then we did some touring of downtown. It's a really cool town. Um, I definitely felt like I wanted some more time, and there was so much to see. All right, we are touristing Nashville today. We are at the Old Smoky Distillery and Yeehaw Brewery, having some beers and some moonshine. Good stuff. Beers are delicious. Uh, we haven't gotten any food yet. I'll let you know if we do. Reaction to the pretzel. And that pretzel, right there. It's real good. Elena? Real heckin' good, right? Kev? Heck yeah. Brewery pretzels, always bomb. Walking around Nashville for five minutes, and 90% of the road traffic is vehicles designed to let people get hammered on the road. It's interesting. Less fun for kids, though. We having fun, Em? Yeah. Hey, we having fun, buddy? Yeah. We are scooting around Nashville, having a good time. Day three, we kind of took off. It was our last day of the official part of the trip. All we had left was three days of a drive. Uh, so we kind of just hung out at camp. Um, we did get new tires put on the camper because I, I had been a little spooked by that Memphis drive. And uh, I realized that the, the most likely point of failure in our vehicle was the front tire. So we got two new tires for the front, even though it was only three days drive back. All right, guys, so there and back again, or Doherty's Destination Diaries, or whatever you're calling this trip, is almost coming to a close. Um, we are on our first of three drive days to get home. So, you know, it's kind of exciting. It's kind of sad. Um, it's a little bittersweet overall. We're all looking forward to getting home. There's no doubt about that. It's not sad. Aiden's behind me saying it's not sad. Um, I'm a little sad, but mostly pretty happy to get home so you know that's exciting uh looking forward to sleeping in my own bed i want to see Belle the ferret we miss her a lot um i'm not really excited for the start of school because i don't feel especially rested <laughs> i don't know why <laughs> it's been kind of a busy summer um but yeah we're sitting here in a koa outside of cincinnati uh tomorrow we're driving to pittsburgh we're gonna visit the kielties that's uh, Ashley, my sister, and Pat, my brother-in-law, and their kids. And uh, and then home the next day. So, yeah. Uh, day after tomorrow, we're going to be home. And this whole adventure will come to a close. Finally. So, yeah, it really is kind of bittersweet, though, Aid. Don't you think? Forward to the day for two I know this video looks like shit, but this... 
This is what I've been missing most of the summer, camping. We've been in a camper, but I wouldn't call it what we've been doing camping, but tonight feels like it. We're here in a beautiful campground. It's a beautiful night, I'm sitting here at the fire. And uh, only a couple more days till we're home. I don't know how to feel about that. I'm kind of emotional about it, honestly. This has been, I think, the greatest experience of my life. I think Yellowstone would be at the very top of the list just because of how amazing that park is. In terms of where did I have the most fun, uh, the wedding in Vegas I think was probably like the most fun event that we did, uh, followed closely by the the swamp boat tour with the gators because who doesn't love watching gators? come when called and eating marshmallows. So I think that, that would, those would be my top three if I had to narrow it down. There's nothing. Not even seeing showgirls on the street in Vegas? Definitely not. A little weird. Right. Favorite part of the trip? Disneyland. Uh, Disneyland. Why? Because it's Disneyland. It's Disneyland. Walking into Bass Pro Shops, how about that? My favorite part of the trip I'm pretty sure it was Yellowstone. Yellowstone was so unbelievably beautiful that I can't wait to get back there someday and see more. Grand Ole Opry. Okay, you found one. Alright, yeah. so tell me, what, what did you like about the Grand Ole Opry? Hey, look, you're wearing a shirt. <laughs> I didn't even notice. Tell me what you liked about the Grand Ole Opry. What is there not to like? Uh, my least favorite part of the trip is probably all the driving. There is so much nothing in this country. So many hundreds of hours of driving through nothing. Empty fields, and that gets awfully tedious. Oh my God, driving the RV. I never want to drive that thing ever, ever again. <laughs> ever. <laughs> Did I mention I never want to drive that thing again? Because I don't. The fact that I thought I was gonna get a sleep in some every day waking up at eight, nine o'clock cause y'all wouldn't let me sleep until 10.30 and getting up at six o'clock like three times. That was ridiculous and nonsense. Scared to lose my township, that's right, that was scary. Um, township is my fave game, totes fave even. And I had like a 250 day streak. I did not want to lose that because I was looking at how bison in the Yellowstone Mountains. Dudder! Why would you have lost it? Because we didn't have no service for like a week. Yeah! Yeah, it was! Dealing with you people. hardest thing about the trip was having to look and smell my brother for 60 days straight. My room. Well, obviously, on top is saying my bell. My lovely little ferret. Uh -huh. Showcased on my pop pocket. <laughs> Sleeping in my own bed is number one obviously, 
um, being able to be in a room and not be physically touching another person would be number two. Because <laughs> the first night we got back, we were all sitting in the living room and everybody had their own spot and we were just sitting and there was space around us. And that was awesome. Not a gas stove. I don't like that at all. Overall, like, I don't think that we could have asked for more from the kids. Like, obviously they were a pain in the butt when we were trying to do recording and stuff and Aiden was, pretended to be miserable and a jerk and he really wasn't and so that was a thing. But they were super responsible with the jobs that we gave them to do about, you know, on pack up days, drive days, the things that they had to do, they were willing to do it, they didn't complain about doing it. Um, given the amount of exhaustion that we all felt, um, they did amazing and I don't think I could have asked for more from them. It was a busy, exhausting couple of months and I wouldn't trade it for anything. It was amazing. I think we are closer as a family. I think we all saw things that we just couldn't have imagined seeing. Um, it was really, it was special. It was a once in a lifetime thing. And uh, you know, I hope the kids appreciate it. I hope Michelle appreciated it. I hope we had a great time. I had an amazing time. It really was a dream come true. It was, it was great family time. I think over, overall. Just really, really great, close family time. <laughs> the answer is we're never gonna do that again. That's a once in a lifetime thing. It was, it was so much in such a short period of time. I don't wanna do that again. I wouldn't change it for anything in the world. If I could go back and do it again, I would do it just like that again. But I also don't feel like I have to do that again. When are we going to road trip with five people and a cat and a camper again? Never. <laughs> Never ever. <laughs> ever. Oh, come on. No, it's, that's not happening. In 59 days, we drove the RV approximately 10,000 miles. Uh, we put a couple thousand more on the car. We stayed at 29 campsites in 27 states. Um, it was a whirlwind. I haven't felt rested and relaxed in as long as I can remember. Um, we started the real hard planning of this trip probably about a year ago where I was on the computer and every free minute trying to figure out what to do and where to stay and all that stuff and searching for RVs and, and I haven't really relaxed probably in over a year and I haven't felt at rest in over a year now. So. I'm looking forward to that first school vacation, that's for sure. <laughs> but again, it, it's all worth it. It was worth it because we had the experience of a lifetime and I wouldn't trade that for anything. So I think that's about it. Um, thank you so much for joining us on this journey. Thank you for being a part of it with me. Um, it's really been a lot of fun sharing this journey with you. So from all of us here in the Doherty family, thank you very much from Doherty's Destination Diaries. Take care. <laughs>